Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. I want to start by giving all glory and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kakadash. All right. I'm the brother, I'm the one. This is my other brother. Brother, you call. All right. We're coming from you from down to before, from the camp province in Babylon. Come with another quick hit to the spirit prayer by Shemal Shah. All right. Lord, we're to edify and feed the sheep. Okay, double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone who teach you well. Peace and blessings to the brothers and persons that's working true sincerity to the scattered bride. All right, as you know, we come out here, okay, every other Sunday or every other day, you know, you know, come out here and push this word, man. Okay, hey, we're going into it, but you know, as you can tell today, all right, it's 4th of July, man. Okay, and 4th of July is a, a wicked pagan holiday, man. Okay, that's something that Esau has set up, okay, according to his benefits, man. Okay. Uh, 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 the Independence Day, man. Okay, and during this time, you know, as Esau was celebrating, as we see that, you know, they pop up fireworks. Okay, they lighting off fireworks, and everybody's in the holly jolly, you know, spirit. You got all the people uh, getting together, family getting together, including Jake, man. Okay, well, but during that time, you know, we was getting our ass whooped, man. Okay, we was getting our backs beaten in still. Okay, we was in subjection, man. Okay, and Jake out here celebrating those things like if it was nothing, you know, done to them, man. Like, 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 like they just completely forgot what the hell was going on during this time, man. So we're going to go ahead and grab it more so, all right? You know, going into a little bit, then we're going to grab some prophecy, okay? Because this ain't the time to be in the house of mirth, man. Either it's the time to be in, in the state of uh, kicking your feet up and celebrating pagan, uh, pagan wicked holidays, man. Okay? So bring, uh... Proverbs, uh... Kind of, matter of fact, I'm gonna bring this out right quick. This is a book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. It says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. But that's what you want, man. You know, get the place in the concourse, all right, in the highways and hedges. Okay, one of our people, man, cry, uh, we, we, we cry aloud, and, and, and we, you know, we're not sparing none, man. Okay, we ain't out here to tell you it's gonna be a jolly good show, man. All right, we ain't out here to tell you that, hey, you know, continue to, con you know, live your life, okay, in, 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 in uh, you know, in America, man. Uh, we, we ain't here to continue to tell you the, uh, you know, America's ways is is the best way, man. We here to tell you that this bitch about to be destroyed with thermal nuclear fire, man. All right, everybody celebrating uh, uh, 4th of July really going to uh, uh, taste a horrific time to come, man. Okay, if you're in the spirit of mirth and you're in the spirit of enjoying yourself, man, uh, you don't, you you have no clue what time you in, man. Okay, and we out here to let you know, all right, that, that hey, that the world's about to destroy this place that you know is America with throwing nuclear fire, man. Okay, and if you don't like it, so be it. But we in those times with, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, man, are about to uh, uh, get really jacked up bad. You got a time like Jacob's Trouble, okay? You got our people, man, who are hard-headed and stiff-necked, all right, who don't get the picture. But we really have to get the picture in that day, okay? As you can hear the fireworks going off, man, all right? Everybody uh, cooking it up and, you know, aunties and cousins and everybody gathering together. You know, they really about to find out you know what really would a a, a a banging sound gonna sound like, man, when the nukes drop. All right, so bring that back. Isaiah chapter fifty-eight, verse one. Cry aloud, spare not. We gonna spare nobody, man. Okay. It says, "Look up, thy voice like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgressions." Okay, sin upon sin. All right, iniquities. It says, "In the house of Jacob, their sins, man." And that's what we are here to let you know, man. You, you got Jake who out here uh, 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 celebrating, you know, uh, you know these wicked pagan holidays, you know, year after year after year after year after year. Okay, knowing that, hey, man, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> you got all these abominations being cooked. You got all unclean things going on. Okay, Jake having this celebration of the lifetime. Okay, all those things is things that the Lord ha has a. Uh, 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 you know, the Lord has, what does the scripture say? Um, anybody that's with, uh, a friend of this word of enmity uh, to the Yahweh Shemel Shai, you know, which we're going to grab too, you know, but shows you that, hey, man, they really going to be really pissing the Lord off when they do these things, man. And they don't know until they're going to find out, okay, when that time to come, all right? But, uh, you're going to find out that yeah. 
this uh, so-called Fourth of July isn't our Independence Day as a nation, man. And our Independence Day is gonna come when Yahweh Shai Hamashiach comes back and redeem us from this flesh ultimately. Because you got Jake celebrating the Independence Day, okay? Which is something that Esau Edom set up for him and his people, man. Yeah. And they, and they celebrated like they wasn't getting their ass whooped during the Fourth of July, man. Mm hmm Like they wasn't, you know, getting uh, you know, getting their backs beaten in. Like yeah. women wasn't getting ravaged. Kids wasn't getting sent from place to this place, you know. Like Esau wasn't taking, you know, uh, 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 Jake and hanging them in the trees during the time, man. It was a lot of wicked shit going on, okay? But I got this right here uh, that I mentioned, James chapter 4, verse 4. It says, ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity, uh, enmity with the Yahweh Shai. Yeah, so basically, you know, you... Celebrating these holidays, man, you coming against Yahweh Shemal Shai because these are not the high holy days of Israel. Mm -hmm. These are things that Esau Edom and his people set up, man. Like going back into it. It says enmity uh, of friendship with the world is enmity with the Most High. Mm -hmm. And everybody's celebrating Fourth of July today, man. Yep. Going out to the beach, having a good time. Everybody's in the spirit of mirth. Yep. Nobody sees what's going on in the world. Nobody sees what's going on in France right now. You got France right now, they on fire, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They on fire. Which that's coming to Babylon the Great. But you Americans, you, you don't get it, man. You think everything is fine and dandy until, you know, all hell breaks loose. Yep. Right? This, this 4th of July might be your last 4th of July, man. Exactly. You know, all Lord willing it is. Mm hmm. But you got some notes for it. Oh, finishing that up, it says, uh, <clears throat> whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy. Of your how about Shemel Shai? It's the enemy of your how about Shemel Shai, man. Fuck this place, bro. Fuck this place. Fuck these people. And fuck everything America has to offer us, man. Mm -hmm. You see, we we in the spirit of you know our Independence Day. We want to we want to look forward to the day where your how about Shemel Shai liberates us from this flesh. Okay, America as a whole. That's mm -hmm. gonna be our Fourth of July. Yeah. That's that's hey, when them nuclear missiles penetrate the land of America. That's gonna be the real fireworks, man. Yeah, exactly. And you people, hey, you wanna you wanna celebrate Fourth of July so bad. And you're going to be a part of that show, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's beautiful. You're going to yeah. be a part of that show, man. Right. You see? You know, you got <laughs> you got fireworks being lit up in the yeah. sky, blowing up, blowing up, you know, here and there. You're like, yo, you the know. Lord's fireworks. Wait, yeah. Exactly. Wait till the Lord drop his fireworks. That's going to be the grand finale, man. You know, you're going to see America get hit with the nuclear missiles. It's going to be so beautiful, man. We opening up. I brought this out. We made that like, man, from watching from you know, from the sea of the, you know, the glass, man, the chariots, man, because, hey, when this place, when this place get destroyed, man, you know, you just, you just know, you just, it's going to be a, a, a feeling of a relief, man, yeah. you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be a feeling of relief knowing that this city don't ever thrive again, man, yeah. you know, every damn firework that go off, man, it just, it'll irk your nerves, man, because everybody just chilling, like it's, like this is, it's like it's a joke or man, you know, it's like, 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 like everything is just a play play, man. You see, that's what's wrong with these people, man. They think that the times we in just play play. Like, oh, look, yeah, you know, let's play the next get together. Let's, let's, let's play the next football. And, and circus, goddamn, you know, ring around the rosy shit, man. You're going to find out hard, all right, when these damn Buddha troops come down, kicking in your door, you in troops down now, martial law, walking down shit, you can't get no food. All right, you're going to find out when all things, and all hell break loose, man. Like the yeah. brother mentioned, you had a uh, over there in France, man. They talking about shutting the internet off, pretty much shutting everything off over there, man. Yeah, which is a foreshadowing of what's mm -hmm. gonna come to America. To this land right here, man. Mm -hmm. You see, it's you know, it's all Esau. Part of Esau's propaganda. He keep he he fattening people up, giving you uh, distractions. Fourth mm -hmm. of July, you know what's next? You know, July, August. You know, who knows is next, man? We don't some, keep, some, some. You know, we, don't, we don't keep track with that shit. Yeah. But something next is going to happen, you know. And, 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 and hey, this is going. This place is going. You know, continue to uh, uh, wax worse and worse. Yeah. Even even today, Fourth of July. You know, you ain't really hear that many fireworks until now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the the uh, this, the the old American spirit, <laughs> you know, is 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 drying up. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody really coming in that spirit of you know boasting and. You know, making glory in America no more, man, because people can feel that the vibration of the earth is changing, man. Yep. yep. Coming to a time like never before, a time where, 
you know, uh, uh, next thing you know, nigga, you gonna be on that grill, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You and your kids, man. You, that, was, uh, that was it on that. Right I got a precept. Huh. Jeremiah uh, Salakia, Proverbs 3 and verse 31. It says, Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Yeah, you know, envy thou not, okay, your oppressor, man. Okay, Esau giving our people this, uh, uh, you know, these fireworks. Esau giving us, you know, all these certain things that to ultimately destroy ourselves. Okay, and the scripture says, envy not, man. You can't be trying to seek out the lifestyle here, okay, of uh, this place, America, man, Babylon the Great, as a, 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 a place of home, man. Okay, neither can you be doing the things that's of this place. All right, and that's things though. Celebrating their, their, their wicked holidays, man. So scripture says, uh, rise ye in the park, for this is not your rest. Exactly. Michael chapter 2, uh, verse, verse 10. 10. So, you know, we're not, we're not looking forward to, you know, celebrating Christmas and Thanksgiving and, and all, you know, all the, you know, pagan holidays the devil got you, uh, you know, uh, 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 praising and, and, and celebrating. Mm -hmm. when, 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 when in the midst of these things were founded, you know, Jake, you know, you weren't celebrating with them, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, celebrating with you. That was on the original 4th of July. You were getting your back, uh, uh, you know, lashed in. You was picking cotton. You know what I'm saying? Your, your sons and your daughters getting shipped off. Your wife getting ravaged. So what makes you think that you can celebrate it today? Well, and All that's, right? and, and you, they, you know, you have it where Esau has given Jake so much of, uh, of so much liberty, you know, to, 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 you know, giving them that much leverage to where they can just Destroy yourself without them even forcing you to do it at this point, man. That's the part of cursing. Deuteronomy 28 mm -hmm. says, He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Mm -hmm. All right, mentally, man. Yep. So now you don't have to put a physical iron yoke of iron around your neck because he has, he, are, he already conforms to his, way, to his way of living. Yep. He don't got to know because it was a process. It was a process of us coming to America and getting beat, you know, physically yep. getting butt broke. You know what I'm saying? Those things are physical things. But it also has mental, you know, it also has mental effects. Yeah. And from generation to generation, he did these things. So eventually he said, well, I don't need to, I don't need to butt break him no more. I don't need to whip him no more. I don't need to lynch him no more. They lynch themselves spiritually. Yeah. Okay. I can set up their leaders. I can set up leaders that look like them and they, and, and they can, and I can use them to promote my way. Okay. Now they celebrating 4th of July. Now they celebrating Christmas. Now they don't believe that the Israelites. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Now they, yeah. now, they, now they don't believe, you know what I'm saying? That uh, these ways are false because they have they have been keeping my traditions, you know, from the time we got over here, bro. Yep, yep. And only a remnant, and only a remnant is gonna come out of that. Yep. Wickedness. Uh, I got a piece up. Con, you finished with that? Yeah, I did. Con, that's the book of Jeremiah, chapter four, verse twenty-two. For my people is foolish. Foolish. Mm -hmm. You don't want to know. You don't mm -hmm. want to learn. Okay, it's different from not knowing and not wanting to know. Yep. Okay, it's to a point now where it was a point of time where people didn't know. But now we're in a time of there they don't want to know. You don't want to get right. You don't want to, you know, fix, you know, uh, 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 yourselves up for yep. your house, your mouth. That's why the Lord calls you fools, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sodish children. They are sodish children. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And they have none understanding. No understanding. Neither do you want understanding, man. So guess what the Lord wants to do? He has to leave you here, man. Yep. He has to leave you here and, and melt, melt you. you. Mm -hmm. All right? And then you're going to be brought back into the kingdom in your right mind. Yep. And then you're going to be thanking the Lord, you know, for doing such things. Mm -hmm. Because you will want to turn back, man. You don't, you, it, it, hey, G, you look at Jake, man. A lot of Jake's just too far gone, man. They stuck. They stuck. You, mm -hmm. you can't, you can't, you, you, America has given them too much liberty to commit wickedness. Yep. That's, that's really what it is. Jake, Jake don't have, Jake don't, uh, doesn't have to be held to a certain standard now. Yeah. Because what, you know, what we up here doing, you know, we're, we're coming back to Yahweh Hashem outside, what the Lord does, he holds you to a certain standard. Yeah. And you have to meet that standard. You, it, it, you know, coming back to Yahweh Hashem outside requires change, man. It requires change. All right, requires you to, to uh, put off certain things, man. Okay, stop doing certain things. And Jake don't want to do that. Jake's like, man, I, I got I kind of got a good right now, man. You know, you tell me I gotta do this and I gotta do that, man. I don't know about yeah. all that, man. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all can do that, man, and, and, and keep it pushing. Yeah. That's the mindset of our people. They don't want to, uh, you know, stop eating certain things like crab, pork, stroke, or simple lobster. Yeah. They don't want to stop celebrating pagan holidays. Yeah. All right, they don't want to stop uh, nothing, man. They don't want to change. They don't want to stop. They, 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 they have been given so much of liberty, like you, you know, like you said. 
okay, that to where the, the leverage that Esau have given them is it, it, it's been extended. So now they feel like every time it comes to something, they got to extend, extend, so like stay. It's, so like it's putting them back into bondage. Yeah. To an, estate, to, to, to an extent. Yeah. Well, that's good because, hey, you know, you know, technically they're right. You know, coming back to this, hey, what we're, uh, we're being made what? Hey, uh, prisoners of Yahweh Shah, man. Mm -hmm. prisoners, prisoners of hope. hope. You know? And see, Jake has false hope, man. What you gonna hope in America? What you hope in another stimulus, man? Mm -hmm. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so we, we come on a part of that dead estate, man. Yeah. Of these paper you know, these, these, uh, you know, false traditions of these tra traditions of men, the scriptures calls them. Yeah. And we coming back to our power in these ways. Mm -hmm. Keeping the, keeping the, the Sabbath. High, keeping the high holy days. The high holy days. Keeping the Shabbat. Mm -hmm. The new ones, you know, the Passover. You know, the day of atonement. Feet the unleavened bread. You yep. know, uh, the day of atonement. Yep. Different things like that. And in other, in other, you know, days that you brothers out there, you may be able to keep, man, with, uh, you know, the feast of first fruits. Mm -hmm. You see, you got what you got. Uh, all these different things, man. What's the Lord set up for us to keep to, 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 uh, to, uh, what's the one looking for? To, uh, acknowledge him in his ways, but our people choose the way of the oppressor, which is going to lead to death, man. It says, uh, they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Self-explanatory. They are wise to do evil. You want to throw a piece of pork down the grill, nigga. You wise to do that. Easy, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Throw a piece of pork on the grill, you stuff in your fucking face, you know what I'm saying? Right. But to do good, you have no knowledge. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because Jake don't want to hear it. Right. Jake don't want to hear it. They don't want to take heed to it. These scriptures say our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. Okay, they will rather refuse these things. All right, didn't receive it, man. Hey, what you got, Jake? They'll say, oh, well, I don't really sell it, but I just do it for the kids. Hey, man, you, hey, the Lord, man, the Lord keeps it for the fucking kids, bro. Grab that from your barber shop. What well, it is. Hosea 4 and 6. Yeah. Okay, because right now, you can hear the fireworks going off. All right, you can hear the laughing and, and the giggling. Okay, you can hear these things in the air, man. Because this is what this is exactly what America promotes. Okay, uh, 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 to be relaxed to be at, at a, a, a chill state, man. Okay, this is what America promotes. It, it, low, it really high key promotes stupidity, man. Because every time you turn around, some confused shit coming out or it's confusion being promoted, man. Okay? But all that's gonna change, all right? All that's gonna eventually change. You're gonna find out that what you're doing, okay, was it was it was backwards, okay? It wasn't the right way. Go ahead. My people, Hosea 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Really slow. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. I also I will also reject thee. So scripture says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Okay, Jake don't want to even know who they is. Jake don't want to find out. Jake rather, you know, uh stick to being an African American uh, uh Puerto Rican. nigga, man. Puerto Rican. Wanna stay being a goddamn Dominican. Want to stay being everything else and, and, and in my world, they want to be everything else, okay? But actually, coming to their uh, they, they nationality, who they are, okay? Our people are stuff for lack of knowledge. They don't want to hear you need to stop doing these things according to according to the, the dietary law, okay? You need to stop uh, 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 serving these certain things according to the, the commandments that the Lord have given us. You need to stop doing these certain things. They don't want to hear that. And then got time, time and chance, okay? Over and over. Go ahead. It says, I will also reject thee, that seeing that thou hast. Read again. Yeah, yeah. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, Hosea 4 and 6. Mm -hmm. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, mm -hmm. I will also reject thee. So the Lord said, Because you rejected him, he will also reject you. How do you reject the one when you got brothers all across the world, okay, doing this right here, promoting these things on even on YouTube, and you you you, you can just mock, you mock and scoff, or you walk past, you can care less, and you can or you continue to do what you're doing today, man. Yeah. When brothers are warning you, because this is a warning through through spirit and prayer of our small side, man. This is a warning. We're giving you a message, okay? We're giving you a warning that hey, what you're doing is wrong. The Lord don't like that, man. You know, we ain't all perfect, but the Lord set us up in, in a way to 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 get right, man. 
okay? Now you coming to y'all, but I'm sorry, you start trying to acknowledge more things, your offenses. It's about acknowledging those offenses and acknowledging these wrongdoings and try to adjust them to the best of your ability. That's what the Lord looking for, okay? Then the Lord start dealing with you, start fixing these things, but you got our people who, who, who can care less. They don't even want to hear the simplest thing, and that's stop doing what they're doing today, you know? Because America promotes them to be at relaxation, man. You know, they like the uh, do as I will. They like they give them exactly do as I uh, do as I will spirit, man. They give them the, the 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 you can do what you want to do, man. So they can care less about what the Lord is talking about, man. That's why we don't. It says that thou shalt be no priest to me, mm -hmm. seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. Seeing that you forgot your heart, watch them outside. Okay, Jake, forgetting all the things when it comes to serving the Lord, right? Go ahead. I will also forget thy children. Lord, gonna forget your ass and your children. Okay? Well, you would think, oh, that's harsh. Oh, look, 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 look what you're doing now. Yeah. Look, look, look what you do when you come up when brother's telling you something, man. Okay, look what you do when there's word going out. Look what you do. Okay? The law is fair, man. The law is a, a, a balance, a just balance, man. Okay, look on even the playing fields. You want to be out here acting wicked as hell. You want to do what you want to do. You want to do with the with the with the oppressors and the, and even uh, envying the the heathen. Go be it. Go ahead. Go have it. Because every day the Lord gonna jack your ass up, man. You know. You know. Hey, you want to you want to choose the ways of the heathen. All right. Well, that, that's what you gonna have it, man. Okay, because I got a precept right here, right quick. It's gonna get to get to the nitty gritty of that, man. Because what did the Lord say about if you don't seek Him? Right here, it's the book of uh, <clears throat> Second Chronicles, chapter fifteen, verse thirteen. It says that whosoever will not seek the Lord of Shai, okay, of Israel, shall be put to death. You know, so if you ain't seeking the Lord and you doing what the hell you want to do, okay. <laughs> You you enjoying your lifestyle, you know, you enjoying your 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 American, you know, way. Guess what? The Lord said he's gonna put you to death, man. Okay, the Lord's not respectful of persons. The Lord care who you is. Child, woman, man, whatever the fuck you decide you wanna be. The Lord gonna put your ass to death, man. And you better be coming in the right, you better be coming in the right mindset. And I ain't talking about being on damn transphobic, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. You know, none of that shit. But hey, the Lord said, if you ain't seeking him, he's going to put you to death, man. And that's scary. That's why we wanted you. Okay? Just like we were we wanted you, man. All right? It says, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So there you have it. The Lord doesn't discriminate, man. You don't want to seek him, he's going to put you to death. Okay? He's going to put you to death. You got Jake continuing to uh, serve and, and do the things that's of uh, this world, man. Like we brought out, that's the, that's the, you, you are making yourself of an enemy to y'all by smell shot, man. You know? You gotta repent. You gotta seek Yahweh by smell shot, who you eagerly call God, or his name is Yahweh, meaning he is, he exists. Okay, and who you eagerly call Jesus Christ, what is his name? Is Yahweh shot, meaning he delivered. He is salvation, man. You gotta seek the Lord in truth and sincerity. If not, you're gonna, just, you're gonna be destroyed with this place that you know is a miracle with Dominical Fire, man. You can't be doing the things uh, going out the, uh, you know, the wicked ways, man. All right? And that's the 4th of July for you as well. That's right. All right? But we're going to, you know, get into a little bit of some prophecy. You know, that was the point on that. I got a precept. If you got anything else. This is Jeremiah 10, verse uh, 1. He the word, hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Mm. So the Lord said, you know, learn not the way of the heathen, man. Which, once again, straight to the point, and it's this wicked holiday is the way of the heathen. This ain't our customs. Our forefathers was, you know, popping off firecrackers and celebrating the, exactly. the, the independence of America. Fuck America, bro. It's the land of our captivity. And, you know, once, once again, in the midst of the first 4th of July, you wasn't celebrating independence, man. You were on the fucking field. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. That was it on that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's that scripture I was thinking about? What they say, you mentioned that, you know, Jake got to, 
you know, go out of the way. Traditions of men? No. Um, dang, man, it's not my mind. You know what they said? They, they would not choose it. You know they would not choose to go out to y'all by shooting shot. I believe it's uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, Jeremiah six sixteen. Grab that right quick, Bob Shot. All right, because you know we're gonna we gonna we gonna um, you know grab that scripture because the Lord specifically told us certain things, man. Okay, He wanted us to what go out to those ways that's of righteousness, man. Seeking the old paths. All right, that's the scripture. The old way, man. Okay, which is the what the good way? Go ahead. Jeremiah 6 and verse 16. Thus saith the Lord, stay ye in the ways mm -hmm. and seek and ask for the old path. That's what you're supposed to be seeking after. The old path. Okay? Things that, that we, we we traditionally always do, man. You know, we ain't got high holy days for nothing. We, you know, we ain't got, you know, uh, uh, these certain uh, uh, high, you know, set uh, expectations for no reason, man. Okay? Yeah, we we are uh, special people unto y'all by so we gotta we have to we have to act like it. You know what I'm saying? And, and a way of acting like it is, is is doing those things that's according to those laws that you commandments, man, to the best of our ability. You see? That's what the Lord looked for. At least try, man. God damn it. Go ahead. It says and ask for the old paths. Uh-huh. Where is the good way? That's right, where is the good way? So that's the good way. Okay. You know, going to these scriptures, man, realizing that we ain't supposed to be serving or doing these things like, uh, as you see today, man. Okay, 4th July is not something that we traditionally did. Like the brother mentioned it, man, pop of five words. This is the tradition of man. This is Esau's kingdom. This is what he has brought uh, uh, forth. Okay, even in, 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 in that, that's wicked, man. Because how did Esau really gain rule over this world, man? Okay, not only did the Lord give him that blessing, Okay, but these devils did it by rape, rob, and murder, man. Okay, these devils rape, rob, and murder, and they and they, and they, they pillage uh, villages. Okay, they they, 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 come, they came down with it, man. Okay, so when you think about it, you know, you just you just giving your your oppressors, you know, a goddamn high five for whooping your own ass, man. All right, but go ahead and walk therein, mm -hmm. and ye shall find rest for your souls. Yeah. Yeah, and there you have it. You should find rest for your souls. This this right here is what you want. Okay? You, 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 you shouldn't want, want anything else because it's not going to have rest for your souls. It's not going to give you rest for your souls. Only you all by smell shot, only seeking this righteousness. The old way, the good the good path, man. The good way. Go ahead. But they said we will not walk therein. But Jake don't want to hear it. They don't want they don't want to take the, the after the, the you know what's being said. You know, they disregard it and they keep continuing to, you know, pop fireworks and, and uh, you know, drink it and live it up. All right. So, uh, you grab the scripture right here. We're going to get into some prophecy. This is the book of uh, Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe and instruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knows that he have but a short time. Esau is not shit cranking up right now, man. Okay, he coming he coming harder and harder with this digital uh uh you know cash like uh cash of society. Okay, okay, he had nothing to smoke about a month ago where you know Elon Musk had that FDA approval to for, for human trials. Okay, you have it where um you know What's his name? Uh, Kyle Schwab, or uh, Kyle Schwab, if I'm pronouncing it, you know, correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. But this, this damn WEF, where he said, you know, hey, he, he gonna bomb this uh, uh, fashion, man. Okay, he said he gonna bomb this fashion, and the new fashion gonna be what? <laughs> Wearing uniforms. And okay, and that's a symbolic for these these devils telling you what? You know, they got a, a NWO system that they setting up right before your eyes. Okay, these people will be just uh, walking prisoners, and then they already are. Yeah. But he gonna make it more known that you are a, a walking prisoner. You are a walking digital prisoner, man. Okay, and you gonna find out very, very much soon in the coming days we're coming into, man. Because Esau wasn't gonna bring. He wants to bring forth what that corrupt man. Okay, and these devils when they come down with it. Okay, when they come down with it, a lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, gonna get caught off guard because you're doing shit like cel celebrating 
4th of July, man. Got your feet kicked up. All that, man. These devils got but a short time to do this, and they not messing around. He's all about to come down and have a great round for his Georgia troops and, and his goddamn Union troops and everything he could come down with to make sure shit get in line according to that NWO because he got but a short time to do it. Okay, the Lord's giving him a period of, of that, that little window to get that shit in, you know, right. Okay, and all is going to fall in line for prophecy at the end of the day. All right, but he's going to come down having great rap. Okay, you got Jacob's trouble we mentioned. You can grab that Jeremiah 30 and 7 right quick. Okay, you know, Esau going to really act the fool. He's going to grab straight, straight to the point. Esau going to act up, man. You're going to have a lot of you Jakes, okay, lined up, ready, executional style. Gun barrel to your back of your head or to the front of your head. Okay, letting you know, you know, if you ain't getting down with this, then you got to go. Okay, I can hear a helicopter now. They're going to have helicopters patrolling the air. Okay, you're going to have martial law patrolling the foot on, on the ground. Okay, everything will be getting, you know, shut the fuck down, man. So I can my friends. All right? That's going to get real bad out here. All that time of mirth and all that time of chit-chatting and kicking it is really going to be turned to freaking uh, frowns, man. Okay? Go ahead. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. A loss for that day is great. So that none is like it. It's a it's a day like uh, uh like never before about to come, man. Worse than slavery, worse than uh, all these you know things that came upon this place, man. You gonna really find out, okay? It says in the description. Continue. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. It's a, even the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, man. Okay, who see yourself on this on this side right here? It's a time for you. Okay, and not a good, not a good time. Okay, but it's a bad time, man. Time like never before. All right, well these devils gonna have a spirit on them like never before, and they gonna come out and they gonna be getting ready to get busy, man, to ravish, to kill, to slaughter, to murder. Okay, to do anything and everything that comes with the the spirit that's being given them in that time. And they best believe they gonna act up. Esau gonna act up. Okay, rise up wars. All those things are gonna come, man. Go ahead. But he shall be saved out of it. But he shall be saved out of it. The Lord's elect man gonna be saved out of it. Okay? Those men are gonna be protected, shielded, guarded. And our brothers that we pray that we be the elect man. To be in those times, all right, being shielded from these evils that's gonna come, man. Because Lord's gonna have spirits created for vengeance, stirred up, demons off. Walking up and down the road, man. Okay, people getting ate, they face eating off by uh, uh, by their own goddamn family members. Animals popping out the zoos, shit getting wild by uh, bears, tigers, and, and damn lions. Okay, you gonna have all kinds of stuff uh, uh, going out. Okay, you gonna have a uh, uh, you know spirit. What was it? Uh, like the time in time in, in um, Egypt, man. Okay. Uh, 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 strange apparitions, man. Okay, they talking about a damn EMP. It's the next biggest, uh, uh, you know, problem that's gonna come upon this place, man. Okay, you've been hearing about lights going out. All right, they about to shut the lights off. They about to shut your your your, your kitchen and living room air conditioning off. Okay, everything's about to really go down. You think this is the time to be kicking your feet up? All right. That's all the part of this devil come down, have a great rap, man. I got a precept right quick. I got a point that, you know, verse, uh, it's like this, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 2. Uh, it says, it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. And um, at the house of mourning, you're going to be in a state of what? Mourning, man. Okay, acknowledging these times that we're in. All right? And it's, you know what? It, it is, it's a good sign to hear these fireworks going off. Because like a soldier that has uh, PTSD, signs like this will have you be alert, you know? Yeah. Signs like that will have you like, oh, shoot, you know? You, you know, brothers, you know, spiritually having like a, almost like PTSD because we're waiting for something to pop off every time we see something. You know, when we hear, you, know, you start hearing these fireworks, it really sounds like something about to really go around, man. You know? So, hey, <laughs> I was just thinking about that, you know? Yeah. You know, you got to kind of take these things and, you know, you know, glorify it in your mind. But 
You got people uh, having the spirit of mirth right now. Okay? They had, they enjoying themselves. You need to be, you know, brothers in the state of mourning right now, man. You see we out here crying aloud, spirit or not, man. Letting you know this ain't the time to be uh, chilling. Okay? You got death and destruction, famine, pestilence, sword. Okay, the list goes on, man. The Lord about to act, the Lord about to <laughs> act these things out, man. On the face of the earth. All right? Uh, reading it again, it says, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning, which we are in the house of mourning, man. We don't want to be here no more. All right? We don't want to stay here. We want to get the hell up out of here. Okay? We trying to go home. This is not a place of rest. It says, then go to the house of feasting. And these people are in the house of feasting. All right? For you to be in the state of uh, celebrating every year after year after year, holiday, wicked pagan holiday, you're in the house of feasting. It says, uh, for that is the end of men, of flocking, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Verse verse 3, I'll even grab that. It says, Sor a sorrow is better than laughter. And right, sorrow is better than laughter because we're going through a process of chastening. When you want to, when you're acknowledging what you're going through, you're going to be in a state of mourning. Okay, when you acknowledge you made your offenses and these things that the Lord's pissed off and that you want to do your best to please Him, okay, you you're going to be in a state of uh, sorrow, man. You know, you ain't going to really be in much of, of laughter. You know, but like uh, like Kanye West, he be laughing <laughs> like yeah. that. You know, <laughs> you know. Cause guess what? It ain't shit funny. It ain't shit funny, man. It says, for by the sadness of the countenance, we gotta go through this hell every day, wake up to seeing shit like this, man. Okay? Everybody chilling. All right? It, 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 your countenance is, is gonna be in a state of, you can't wait to get out of here, man. Okay? That the heart is made better. So, because we're in that state, guess what? The, the, our spirit is being made better, man. Our mind is getting made better. All right, it's being it's spiritually prepared for when, when shit really pop off, okay? When things really pop off. What do you say, Isaiah 33 and 6? Wisdom and knowledge shall be established in the times, man. Okay, the strip of salvation, the fear of the Lord's treasure, okay? So this word is really going to keep us mentally prepared and mentally uh, stable, okay? It says, uh, verse 4, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. So if you if you would to... to, to have your, a good grip of your mind, okay, of understanding what time you in, you're gonna be in, this, in the house of mourning, right or wrong. You, 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 you're gonna look at this like, oh, let me go out there and do this shit, hell no. But the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth, and, it's, and people are in a, a state of mirth, okay? Fools, nothing but fools, the scripture should say, uh, uh, folly is set in great dignity, okay? Nothing yeah. but foolishness, you know? Um, let me see. I'll jump up to verse 7 too and grab this. Um, it says, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad and a gift to stroke the heart. You got it. Yep, so you know, oppression, which is what we're under right now, we're being oppressed daily, is making us mad. You see, we're supposed to be angry at the way the, the earth is currently being ran, the way we're being triumphed, the, the way that we're being uh, trodden over by the enemy. There's no reason to be popping off fireworks and rejoicing and laughing. The time of rejoicing is going to come when Yahweh Shah, Lord willing, delivers us from Babylon the Great. That's right. But other than that, we have nothing to laugh and you know rejoice about, man. Mm -hmm. You see, that's why we out here sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Mm -hmm. You got something? Con. <clears throat> Just the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16. It says, Shalakia, I just lost it. Um, <clears throat> it's the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 21. It says, Behold, victory shall be so cheap upon the face, it's like upon the earth, that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. And even then, Shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. That's right. So, you know, you look at the earth today, 
and you can still go out. Still go out, you can still buy a case of water for you know it's normal price, you can still go get gas. You can still do all these things, man, for a good price. Yep. Now you think yourself to be in good case, but as we just said, even so then shall evils increase upon the earth, man. Mm -hmm. Death, famine, destruction, the sword, FEMA camps, blackouts, cannibalism. All these things are coming, bro. So, you know, knowing these things, should you be in the house of mirth or should you be in the house of mourning? Yeah. Hey, hey, she was talking about, um, I believe it's in Ezekiel, where Esau, okay, is preparing slaughter, man. Okay, he, he, he's, uh, he is sharpening his sword. Okay, he's, that sword is getting sharpened right now. So Esau behind closes, is getting his military stuff situated. Okay, he, he, he's bringing out new technology, new, new weaponry. All right, just for, for a time like never before, man. Just so he can slay you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, man. Okay, Israelites, he about to act the fool, all right? And you know, you got at the time where you can still buy things, you can still go to the store, and people just, you, get, hey, you know, he's the devil when he set it up perfectly where you can go buy fireworks, man, okay? People are out here buying fireworks, you still got enough money, still got enough currency to go, go buy, go fireworks right now. Okay, you got a little tent set up. You know, you just gonna really be going down um little, little, little station spots, you know, <laughs> to check in and see if you can get food or not, <laughs> you know? Get but hey, guns and shit. yeah. You know, all kinds of stuff going on though, man. Parties. It's still, it, it's still, it's still, it's still a state of laughter, okay? People can go go to the, go buy food for, for the, the turn up, you know? What, what, what Tom, you know, they, 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 oh man, we, we about to go. We'll do this tonight, man. We go to Walmart right quick. Everything's still cheap right now, man. Everything's still gullible for them right now, man. Okay? But guess what? You got evils growing uh, upon the face of the earth. You got things getting worse and worse and worse. Okay? It's not getting pretty. It's getting worse. All right? Um, <clears throat> I got this right here. This is the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter 15. Uh... Start out verse one, it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in the mouth uh, put in thy mouth, saith the Lord of Shema Shai, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the uh, imaginations, imaginations against thee, that not the incredulity which that unbelief of them trouble thee. Yeah, so we come out here, you know. Scripture says the righteous are bold as lions. Go ahead. It says, speak uh, speak against thee. That speak against thee. So we know we don't have to deal with <laughs> the scoffers and scorners of our own people, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So that's why we ain't going back and forth with you. We ain't, like you had the one guy, I don't know what camp he was in, but you know he was trying to force the guy to get it. We ain't trying to force nobody to get this thing, man. You know, if you're unfaithful, you're just going to die in your unfaithfulness. You're going to die out here. You don't want to turn back to your house, your mouth shy. You want to serve the Lord, you're going to die here, man. That's right. All right. It says, verse 5, Behold, saith the Lord, your mouth shy, I will bring plagues upon the earth, it's like upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. There you go. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So the Lord had enough. So he about to bring the sword, Esau, Edom, famine, death, and destruction. You know, mm -hmm. God damn. Even more, you know, other things that's, that's not written in the book. You see, strange apparitions. Yep. And it tells you in the time of Egypt that the Lord sent a, a darkness over Egypt, a darkness that could be felt, man. Yep. Motherfuckers gonna be out here getting snatched up in the shadows by yep. demons, bro. All types of things. The Lord's gonna let all hell break loose in America, man. And we here. Yeah. We here, man. And we have to be in the midst of that. Go ahead. Uh it says, verse seven, therefore said the Lord you have by Shemel Shai. That was it on that was pretty much it on that. Um You got something else? Nah, you can get all uh, that uh second edge of sixteen in uh verse seventy-three. Come on. <clears throat> this will, second Ezra is Chapter 16, verse 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. There you go. So then you're going to be known who's the Lord's chosen because the chosen 
are the ones who stood tall for y'all by Shabbat Shalom. They're not going to get caught up out here in these things, man, the evils. They're going to have protection. They're going to be protected. They're going to be taken care of. Why well, everybody else out here getting jacked up? Go ahead. It says, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So we can try. We begin try too. In the midst of being protected. In the midst of you know, going through our uh, infirmities in hell. The Lord said we're going to be tried as gold in the fire. Some more on that? No, that was it on that. Yeah, I said a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, okay, fine. It's lucky. Verse 40, uh, 74, it says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord of us my side, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. But I will deliver you from the same. So though all, the, all hell about to break loose in this country, the Lord said he's going to deliver us from the same, man. While the rest of our people out here getting messed up because they ain't turning back. You see? Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Ezekiel 33, verse 33. Close it out. You know, um, let me see right here. So like it. I got it. Got it? Yeah. God, go ahead, bring it out to you. This is the book of Ezekiel 33 and verse 33. And it reads, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Mm -hmm. So when he, it's a lot of you. So when he's, you know, as we go into some of this prophecy, man, okay, when death, destruction, famine, sword, okay, when all these things come to pass, all right, read on. Then shall they know mm -hmm. that a prophet has been among them. Then you're going to know that a prophet has been among you, okay? When you were sitting here uh, 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 celebrating 4th of July, uh, when you see him with your feet keyed up, kicked up, okay, putting off from day to day, all right, when you want to take a heed to this, this warning, okay, then you're going to know a prophet has been among you when these days come to pass, okay, because it will come to pass, okay, according to prophecy, man, this will go down, and we believe that wholeheartedly, man, okay, through the spirit of prayer of Hashem outside, all right, when these devils shut these lights off, when they when you when is a, 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 a when it comes to a time of famine out here in the word, okay, you gonna know what this word has been. This word was taught to you, man. Okay, this word was brought forth to your 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 uh, attention. your attention. All right. When these things come to pass, you are gonna know that prophet have been, been among you, man. Through the spirit, pray about your outside. All right. Yeah, that was it on that. Con, so we're gonna go ahead and close it out. You know, just going a little bit into this fourth July, uh, fourth of July. Okay, and it's a prophecy, man. All right, because this ain't this, this ain't the time to be in, uh, uh, you know, a state of mirth. Neither is the time to be, you know, just you know, uh, uh, going about your going about your daily life and get got your feet kicked up, man. All right, we in some scary times and some serious times. And I'll help out to break loose around this bitch, man. Soon, okay. So we gotta be circumspect. With that, we're gonna go ahead and give all blood on the prisons too. Yahweh by Shem Yahushua by Shem Kadash. Once again, that one said I was an apostle. Great Millstone, teach you well. Until next time, we say Shalom. Shalom. PTA, about a ball soon. soon.